So what I'm going to do here is very, very simple. It's a tomato salad. Uh, and my mom used to do the best tomato salad in the world. And she would grow the tomatoes in our garden. Okay, and and uh, she would, when they were not quite ripe, she would pick them up and ripen them up on the windowsill. So when they came in the kitchen, we had all these big fat uh, marmon tomatoes. She used a variety which is best for salad. Because each variety has a purpose. Like this one, not good for salad. It's good for sauce. Why? There's a lot of, acid, a lot of uh, uh, flesh and little acidity. That means when you cut it, okay, voila. Well, you can see, see hardly any juice, all flesh. So that's good for sauce, for ketchup, for everything, you know, for any, any tomato sauce. So let's put that away, très bien. Uh, and and um, this one is a, one of the very best tomatoes, called Russian black. Look how beautiful it is, a lovely black. That's a Crimean black as well. Very countries are close to each other. And those are for the best for tomato salad, okay? The marmande is best. Okay, for tomato salad and for stuffing. So imagine, cut the top here, and you do a bit of mince, okay, vegetable mince, or, 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 or meat mince, or fish, and you stuff it and you bake it with a bit of tomato sal sauce. We're going to give you a couple of recipes, okay, but now I'm going to make a very, very simple recipe. That's my mom's tomato salad. And I get very emotional when I talk about my mom's tomato salad. And she would use only one variety of tomatoes, which is a marmande, okay? So she won't bother to remove it here, leave it, until it's really hardcore. Can I have a set enough? Okay, what's up? Can I use that? Voilà, très bien. And voilà, so just cut it very nicely. So, of course, children, maybe it's not uh, advised for children to do that, because you could cut yourself, okay? Unless you are with your papa and your mama, voilà. So just... And we're going to do just a quick salad. So that's that, that simple. But you need the right produce, okay? And there you have the right produce. So leave it here. So now I'm going to do a quick dressing. You can do two dressing. One can be just vinegar, balsamic vinegar, or an olive oil, extra virgin olive oil. But I will do my mom's dressing, okay? And my mom's dressing will be done with mustard. Okay, voila. And it's interesting, mustard. The food is magical, I tell you why. See the mustard, you know, a bit of water. Okay, a little bit. If I pour it on, a little bit in here. More, more, more. Three. Voila. Très bien. So then I multiply, then add. And then, in the mustard, you've got a chemical, natural, which is lecithin. And lecithin emuls is an emulsifier, like egg yolk. It brings together, okay, an emulsion. It helps create an emulsion, so it doesn't, it doesn't really separate very much. Okay, so just up, you just whisk in your olive oil, your best olive oil, extra virgin. It's cold pressed. Look at that, how beautiful it is. Well, now we're going to add a dash of vinegar, and it's thickened very nicely. So it's so easy. You can prepare a week in advance, one liter. You can do it in your liquidizer. Keep it at home in a bottle. Shake it up, and it's all ready. Dash of vinegar, a bit more, dash more water so it's thinner. Voilà, and you have your French dressing, that's what it's called a French dressing mustard, vinegar. You can put a few shallots inside, which is rather nice. And you taste, aha, what is missing here? Can you get some water? Maybe some water. Uh, separate, separate, huh? Okay, so it's missing a tiny bit of salt. Be careful. I used to battle when I came back in Great Britain. Everyone used so much salt. People would eat 25 grams of salt a day. And I remember the first dish I did way back in 1977 when I opened my little restaurant with a cheap red and white tablecloth because I had no money. I was a young chef starting and I knew nothing about food, but what my mom had taught me, okay? And I, and I cut my cockerel, and I painted the cockerel with a, with a red, bleu, blanc, rouge, so it's a French restaurant. Cheap prints of Paris on the wall, and I opened my restaurant. 
and I want you to see my first two dishes being tested by my first two customers. So imagine you open your restaurant and you work very hard with your team, okay, and you, you know you want to see your first two guests, your first two customers eat your food. And I was excited and I did some beautiful food. The food arrived in front of the guests. There were two businessmen with striped suits. Boring, you know? <laughs> Very boring. So, oh my God, you know? And then when the food, they were talking business, business, business. I was watching them through the door and the food arrived and they stopped talking about business. You know why? Because the food was made with love. The food was beautiful and they looked, they will see silence for about 10 seconds and that, that made me so happy that they would look at the food in such a way and you know what they did they jump on the salt on the salt and murdered my food <laughs> without even tasting it and i went into a campaign that is 28 years ago 30 years ago with a uh, with uh, monsieur mcgregor professor mcgregor and we went from south to north about fighting the fight against salt because there were so many diseases and when you eat too much salt or too much sugar you're bound to be ill one day either diabetes or, or cardiovascular disease or all sorts of problems so so i fought against salt for five years with professor mcgregor now british guests eat only six and a half gram of salt average so the battle against sugar will be exactly the same and we can fight together okay we might need to fight together okay we do. <laughs> we'll do that. Let's have it my, my simple dressing here. Voila. So we get three points in advance. So always test, test, test. Voila, voila. Can you test it, my lovely? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of pepper. That's very nice. So, my own, own grown salad at the manoir. So, my best salad is called Ice Queen. Okay, and that's really the best, very crunchy, beautiful salad. And my mom would uh, simply, voila, lay the tomatoes like that, very simply, voila. A shallot, can you say the shallot, probably? In half in the croissant. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at that, how lovely it is, how simple it is. Okay. And then spices? Yeah, then the basilic. Remember, you can grow it in your own on the windowsill of your house, okay? Ask your mom to buy you some seeds, chive, tarragon, and you'll be amazed. After that, smell. Smell that. Smell that, lovely. Huh? Isn't it incredible how perfume it is? Huh? Okay. So, so, pass it on, okay? Crush it in your hand and pass it on to your friends. And that is basilic, yeah? A bit more, yeah? So very, very rough. So you put your basilic, your dressing. Very simple, look at that, how simple it is. Or you can put the, the shallots into, voila, and the shallots, voila, on the top here. A bit more pepper. And you got an extraordinary salad, an extraordinary simple salad, it took me five minutes.